And welcome to Innovate Marketing Daily. Today is February 15th, 2023. My name is Sean P. Neal, and we are brought to you by MyPodcast.media. MyPodcast.media produces podcasts for brands, influencers, and nonprofits. Today is a big one, folks. Today we're talking about brands missing out on revenue and market share growth by not effectively engaging with diverse communities and media properties. Big topic. Let's get into it. All right, so just so you know, today's uh, news is actually brought to you by a white paper that was recently released, released yesterday, in fact, by Direct Digital Holdings. Uh, Direct Digital Holdings brings state-of-the-art supply-side and demand-side advertising platforms together under one umbrella company. And so they released this white paper titled Dollars in DEI Multicultural Consumers Insights on Brands, Media Buying, and marketing practices. So my best advice for you as we get started is to really focus, put on your marketing hat, put on your business hat, and dive into this, okay? The findings reveal that brands at a time of economic uncertainty are currently missing out on significant revenue and market share growth opportunities and jeopardizing future growth due to a lack of appropriate and purposeful focus on Black, Hispanic, Latin, AAPI, and LGBTQIA plus communities. The white paper centers on exclusive research commissioned by Direct Digital Holdings and conducted by Horowitz Research. And it was a very in-depth survey. Um, The results spotlight the perspectives of diverse multicultural consumers, a group that comprises two-fifths of American consumer market. That is not a small number yet has not had proportionate attention from the advertising business. The research tapped 1,342 U.S. adults aged 18 and above from the Black, Hispanic, Latin, AAPI, and LGBTQIA communities to share their attitudes and behaviors in light of the marketing world's scattershot diversity efforts. So, there is a lot to take in with this. I'm going to give you five kind of takeaways. Number one, according to the findings, almost 90% of diverse multicultural consumers report taking action because of a company investing in their community. And that includes telling others about the brand, sharing their support on social media, or even switching to a brand away from a competitor that does not invest in their community. So bullet point number two, eight out of 10 diverse consumers said they feel more positively about brands that live up to promises to make a concerted effort of support to their communities. Listen to this. And alternatively, eight in 10 say they feel negatively about brands that don't live up to their promises. Bullet point number three, the large majority of diverse consumers, about eight in 10 feel more positively about brands that advertise in targeted diverse multicultural media. Bullet point number four, nearly seven out of 10 said that purposely living or purposely investing ad dollars with media that is owned or focused on their respective communities strongly demonstrates support. And finally, four out of 10 of the respondents said that they notice ads more when they appear on targeted diverse multicultural media channels versus mainstream media. There's a lot to take in uh, in those five points. In addition, while ad spending was found to be one of the most impactful ways for marketers to demonstrate a commitment to these audiences, creating ads and content that are inclusive of diverse communities was cited as another strong demonstration of support. To put that into sharper focus, both came out ahead of simply sharing social posts. All right, that's a lot to digest for a Wednesday, I know, but I think it's important that we talk about it. So I'm gonna include a link directly over to uh, the website and specifically the the, uh, white paper. They, of course, will ask you for some contact information in exchange for this, but I think go ahead and, you know, and do that. I think that what you'll find out, what you'll learn is very, very much worth uh, that exchange. And uh, thank you, Direct Digital Holdings, for bringing this information to us. All right. As you know... I am always keeping my eyes, my ears open for the latest, greatest news in the world of marketing, branding, and business growth. And when I find it, I come right back here 
like tomorrow, to bring it to you. So until we meet again, my friends, stay safe, be well. See ya.